Well, hello out there in YouTube land. Here I am again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and bump my gums for a while and kind of let y'all know what's going on, what's happening, things like that. And I'm being video bombed. Do you see it? We'll come back in a minute and show you. This is Surviving 2, coming to you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Uh, first off, let me get this out of the way. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers, all my old subscribers that comment everybody that comments and watches these videos and everything and I just I appreciate it I can't thank you enough I'm hoping you enjoying what you're seeing so on to the video bomb did you see it it's still there mouse mouse <laughs> he loves laying up there on top of the honeysuckle that's growing along this fence line right here <laughs> he just I guess he stays cool stays up out of the you know out of the ground and everything he, he likes it there so anyway we get to watch him for a while too I doubt he'll be doing much. He'll probably go back to sleep. <laughs> He's been out playing all night. So anyway, uh, where should I start off? Oh yeah, rant. One of my last videos. No sooner than I had videotaped that video, I got another email asking me to you know, try out their stuff, do their stuff. I get it all free, yada, yada, yada. Didn't, didn't go into as far as that one letter I showed you. They didn't ask for a five-star review. But they said, oh yeah, we see all your videos and everything else. And, you know, here we'll do this and that and the other. And I even got another one yesterday. Everybody I get like that, if you guys are really watching this, these videos, I'm blocking your happy ass, so I don't care. <laughs> you're wasting your time if you're emailing me, so it ain't doing no good at all. And for those of you guys out there that are my subscribers and whatnot, you do know that I have an email address. It's it. If you go to my main page, go to the about, you'll see a little link down there. You click on the link, the email address pops up. So it says business inquiries, but I, I can't take that off. That's YouTube. I can't do nothing about that. But anyway, uh, the, it's enough of that. The virus, it's still people's I can't believe it. <laughs> and not only that, is the testing around here just gone bonkers. They, the county of Dallas hired a company to come in and do this testing and they're from out of state, which now after they're looking at some of their results, their percentages are a lot lower than everybody else that's testing. And they're testing in the red zones, the high high concentration areas of COVID. So we're getting really inaccurate results around here. Yeah, that's a mess. And uh, as far as what I do, here's a picture of how I go out. The only thing you don't see is a set of gloves on me. I have a set of gloves. And then when I get back from doing what I need to do, I've got some 
Clorox disinfecting wipes that I'll take and wipe everything down. I mean, clean anything that I've used, I've touched, anything like that. I even take my mail. I quarantine my mail. It's on paper and from what I'm reading and seeing and everything, it's, it goes away fairly quick on paper. So I'm quarantining it for like a couple of days. But metal parts, plastic parts, things like that, stuff you get from eBay, that goes into quarantine for five days minimum. At least that's what I'm reading. It stays on surfaces for five days. Now there was an instance back when all this first started up that those cruise ships that they had everybody locked down on and everything else and they weren't letting them off of them. Once they finally got everybody off of there, they took and went in 17 days later and tested around the ship and still found active virus concentrations. So that's 17 days. But I think what that's caused by was probably the ship still had the air conditioning system turned on and maybe this bug likes air conditioning. Maybe it doesn't like the heat, which that's what they said in the beginning that when it got hot, we weren't gonna, you know, this was gonna go away. Well, sure friggin' <laughs> fooled them, didn't it? <laughs> it has done nothing of that sort, that's for sure. So anyway, other than that, uh, all the parts and pieces that I've shown y'all, I've got some new stuff that's coming in and uh, some other things like that but I haven't tested anything yet. I've got a little roll-up table that's a uh, decent size, not a bad size. And I've got some other odd and end parts and pieces that are coming in and, and going on. Uh, here's something, something I wanted to ask all y'all about and get your opinion on it. Now that all this has taken place, I've been learning more about my video. Can't even say anything. My video editing software that I'm using, which is PowerDirector. I think I'm on version 16, and the newest one is 18. But it's still the same. I've been using the multi-camera situation where I get, you know. I've got the two cameras, I set it up and, and do it like that and I switch back and forth. I've also found how to take music, a music track and put underneath me talking and as I talk, the music will duck down. They call it audio ducking. It'll drop down a level. I can decide how much it does. That's still a work in progress too. And then when I'm not talking, the audio level will go back up to normal. So that you can hopefully better hear me, but yet still get the sound of the soundtracks. And I've picked a couple of places that allow, excuse me, I had to scratch there couple of places that allow me to go ahead and get their soundtracks and I don't have to buy soundtracks all I've got to do is put the little annotation in the description box and change the setting on the uh, on YouTube I got to make it say Creative Commons and all that mess other than that uh, just curious of y'all's opinion on all that, the pan shots that I do, the other stuff that I do. I've been, like I say, trying to get a little more creative and just add a little, a little something to these videos. Uh, another thing is I found 
I had to go to YouTube themselves and go to their render settings and see what they recommended, wrote that information down, brought it back into my video editing software, and when I process the video, I've taken and changed the settings to match what YouTube says, so hopefully y'all are getting good quality videos out of this when you if you decide to go full screen or whatever it should still look the same so yeah I've been monkeying around with a lot of stuff the new computer uh, figured out also how to take and turn on the video card shall we say when I do the processing of these videos and it makes it go a heck of a lot faster. Before I'd have to sit and process a video, I might have to get up and wander off, go do whatever for an hour or better, a couple of hours in some cases, but that's not the case anymore. Man, in a matter of minutes, this thing's done. So it probably helps that I'm up to as many cores as I am on the, that's when I bought this new computer. I specifically got one that handled video better than what my other one did. I've been in the process of moving files around, transferring and stuff like that. And I pretty much got all that done. I got the old computer. It still comes up a little bit, but it's in a real limited mode. I been cleaning some stuff out and found a repair disc so I got to get a chance before I do that I want to go ahead and take the new one and do a complete ISO backup of it so that way I've at least got it protected and then I can concentrate on the other one and do it if nothing else I'll put Linux on it so I'll go to probably cinnamon something like that I don't know I'll have to see more about it and see where they're at when I, if I finally decide to go ahead and do that. At least it'll be a little more protected. Uh, other than that, it's just hotter than sin around here, fixing it worse. We have had what they call a cold front, which isn't, I don't know why they call a drop in three or four degrees a cold front. To me, that's not cold, that's cool. A cold front's when you're getting a 20 degree drop or something like that and everything. But we've had a cool front move through and it's been nice the last few days. Took advantage of it, or excuse me, out here in the backyard and mowed everything. But in the next day or so, we're looking, we're gonna be looking at 100 degree temps, which this year hey it's been pretty cool i don't mean cool cool it's been nice i we haven't had as much hot temperatures as before i think so far this year we've only had one hundred degree day the rest of them have been up there close i mean 99 98 something like that but no just the 100 degree day, but that's gonna change next week, I think. Uh, that's way better than I think it was 1989. Well, we got up to 114 one day, or a few days, 113, 114. One day really smashed the record. Then uh, there was one year, and I forget which one that one was. It wasn't too long ago. We had like 73 days of 100 degree temperatures. So that was a brutal year. But hey, that's Texas weather. So what can I say? Uh, other than that, uh, not a whole heck of a lot going on. I just been trying to keep up with my video watching on the people I'm sub to and trying to make these videos whenever I get a chance to kind of let you guys know what's going on, see what's up. 
share what I know, which ain't much. Been using the power supply and the solar panel quite a bit. Run it down, bring it out, set it up. Within a little while, it's charged back up. Go back in, use it for charging batteries, charging the cameras. I even the cameras I got, I actually have both of them sitting here, but I'm not using that one. I'm just using this one, but. Uh, I actually charge them up with it. Works real well. It saves me from having to spend money on electricity. Well, other than that, I guess that's about it. I'd probably sit here and bump my gums enough and bored every one of y'all to tears and I bet over half of y'all have disappeared by now. Which, uh, I'll do a video on some analytics. That's really interesting. I'm, I'm seeing some analytics of the people that are watching and viewing and stuff like that. Pretty interesting. So, when I get a chance, I'll get some information together and do a video on that. I think y'all might find it interesting. I know I do. I'm kind of shocked in a way. So, anyway, that's enough of me for now. This has probably gone on for way too long. So we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, y'all take care out there and be safe. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.